Hi, this is Coach Ken, Superbike Coach, and uh, today um, I'm waiting for something really cool. Uh, we have a new bike coming. Um, we <laughs> literally bought it uh, online uh, in Florida, and it took a hell of time to get it here. It was uh, quite a journey. Uh, it took uh, almost two months um, to ship it here. What we have coming is a 24 Ducati Panigale before R. It's, uh, I'm stoked, I'm excited, and uh, I'm literally waiting here for the truck driver to arrive and see what it looks like. <laughs> I know what it looks like, but everything is okay. I'm a little nervous about it, but uh, it should be fine. It should be good. So, um, yeah, let's see, and uh, we'll make a little video about it too. Yeah, you know, once it's coming off the truck. Damn! It's here. Big truck. The small bike. <laughs> there she is. So yeah, there she is, off the truck, and uh, dirty as hell. She was uh, going from storage to storage, but that's how it is. I, I got this trip, the shipping really cheap, so you you know, then you can't complain. And uh, so, but now she's here. A Panigale V4, and it's got all that Rizoma fancy stuff on it, which I gonna replace. I, I mean, this is for the Ducati Starbucks rider with huge chicken strips, and that's how it is this these days. So this bike will be our uh, will be converted to a track, and it's gonna get all fairings new. Um, uh, exhaust it's gonna get way lighter and uh, a lot of carbon is going going to be added sensible carbon and uh, it's got to get adjusted to my my riding style means levers um, rear sets and all that stuff and then uh, yeah <laughs> A lot of things going to change and uh, we want to document this and there, were, there are lots of companies involved helping us, supporting this project and uh, you guys get to hear all of it. Step by step we're making videos and let you know about the progress and how it's going to turn, turn over to really look good and being really fast. out there so um, uh, before we get into it I, I just want to want to uh, describe actually why I'm doing stuff like that actually um, I kind of need stuff like that I, I love doing stuff like that um, one big reason is um, I like doing stuff like that especially after a like bad accident and I had one just recently on Sonoma Raceway and uh, I'm still dealing with a broken shoulder and my left wrist fingers are uh, still extremely weak and limited in in, in regard motion etc so and I I've, I need stuff like that after things like this because uh, it it, uh, it helps me staying motivated with this and because uh, I'm riding motorcycles pretty much all my life <clears throat> uh, that includes uh, growing up with motorcycles learning this all pretty much myself and then 
uh, going into high level, up to high level motorcycle racing uh, professionally, and then later on into teaching many, many years. I've, there's pretty much nothing I haven't seen. Uh, and uh, so this, this is something I personally need you know, to, to get myself back in the saddle, to motivate myself. And, and this year makes me, I cannot wait to get back on the track with this, you know. And, uh, the, but then it's the way I wanted it, the way I wanted it to look, the way I wanted it to feel. And this is not for the mess anymore. And yeah, and once you once you been or went once you coming out of professional racing, you have uh, this different perspectives, different uh, uh, a different way of how you like your motorcycle to feel. I mean, you you have a different skill set. It has to it has to be different than other motorcycles. So. Yeah, right. I mean, riding, riding uh, production racers and even uh, prototypes, <laughs> you have expectations <laughs> in your own motorcycles. Then later on, I hope that makes sense. Um, so you never, of course, you never get it to the point where it ever feels like a, <laughs> like a, um, like a real race bike, especially prototypes. Then. Uh, that's a total different animal, but you can get them close. And that's kind of what I'm trying, as close as possible. So, and yeah, of course, I wanna, uh, I wanna make it look the way I like it to look. So, so we're going both ways, performance and looks. That's why I like it. Now, you maybe have a different opinion about this, but that's how I am, you know? And yeah, I know with this with these videos, I try to give you a little motivation of doing stuff that yourself. You know, you can save a lot of money with this, and and it's actually fun to do, as long as you have the right place, you have some tools, and it builds from there. It's fun. It's really fun, and uh, I enjoy it. I'm I'm all day, sometimes all night in the garage, and and build, create, modify the shit out of it and that's what I like doing.